Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to live stream from YouTube Live in XSplit Broadcaster. Stay tuned. So before we set up our YouTube output in XSplit Broadcaster, it's important to make sure we have live streaming enabled on our YouTube channel, whether you have a new channel or even an older channel. If you've never live streamed before, do ensure you're able to. So go into your channel, go to Creator Studio. On the left sidebar here, go to Settings down in the bottom, and then click on Channel and go over to the Feature Eligibility tab. And here we are. Features that require phone verification. It's videos over 15 minutes, custom thumbnails, live streaming, and content ID appeals. So this is enabled for me here. I verified with my phone earlier on, so we're good to go. And we can live stream through this account. So just double check, go to your Creator Studio, go to Settings, go to Channel, Feature Eligibility, and double check. If you have to phone verify, go ahead and do that, and then move on to the next step. Okay, so once we ensure that we can live stream uh, via YouTube itself, we are now in XSplit Broadcaster here. We can go to the Broadcast tab up here in the menu and click on that. And you see I have a few outputs already here for live streaming. I have Facebook, I have some custom live streams, and also YouTube Live. But for you, you'll be setting up a brand new output to broadcast your live stream. So you want to click on set up new output and you can see all of the options here from Twitch, uh, Facebook, local streaming, but today we'll be featuring YouTube Live. So click on that. All right, and here is the box brought up, the YouTube Live properties, it has your channel ID here, it has all the encoding, audio encoding. Also down here, you can check mark this box. If you want to save your live stream on your hard drive, so that way you have a copy of it you can use to edit up later on or post somewhere else. We're going to be featuring though, the main aspect of this is just setting up your live stream through YouTube. So the most important part first is to click on Authorize XSplit to use YouTube Live. This will take you through a short wizard, uh, allowing you to uh, connect your account and get everything set up. So we'll click this. And I already have three accounts that are authorized through XSplit for our YouTube channels. I have a gaming channel, of course, Tech Eddie, and this one here is for my RC planes and cars. However, like you, we'll be adding a new channel to the account. So we'll click on Add New Account at the bottom. This will connect and go through a short wizard here for you. So enter your Gmail address, your YouTube account email address, enter that right here. So we'll be setting up my Magician's Club. Click on Next. Of course, enter your password. There we go. I actually forgot my password there for a second for this account. It's, a, it's an older account, so make sure you know your password. Okay, so now it says choose your account or brand account, as we can see here, uh, this says YouTube, so you want to click on the YouTube one. So Secret Magicians Club YouTube, we'll click on that. All right, now the permissions page, Expert wants to grant access to your Google account, uh, manage your YouTube videos, view YouTube account, manage YouTube account, click on allow at the bottom, and it's connecting. And boom, we are done. As you can see here, channel ID, it says Secret Magicians Club. It is now authorized in XSplit Broadcaster. If you get a pop-up message and all that says API error, uh, just click on the link that says click here. It will take you to a Google or YouTube page where you can verify your phone number to ensure your account's verified for live streaming through YouTube. That way XSplit then can access your YouTube account. 
All right, and now the most important part is setting up some of the properties here and settings for live streaming. Uh, we did a video earlier on. I'll include a link in the description. Uh, this video is how to live stream with bad internet. Uh, even if you have good internet, uh, take a look at that video after this one and uh, watch it all the way through. We go through what some of these options and encoding options are, uh, what we give you some suggested bit rates to as far as what you should live stream with. Uh, but you can do a test bandwidth, and this will do a short little test using your internet connection to see what bandwidth it could be used for live streaming. So we'll click on test. And this will be kind of like a basic setup for you, uh, giving you just some ideas of what's capable here for your live streaming. Everyone's internet connection, of course, varies. So if you have a poor connection, you're still able to live stream probably. Uh, but just make sure you do watch the video that way you can kind of adjust and tweak things a little bit more than if you have a really good internet connection. But once again, either way, uh, do check out that video after you watch this one here. I'll include the link in the description. And that video again is called How to Live Stream with Bad Internet. So it's doing a test of bandwidth right now, attempting to stream at 6,748 kilobytes per second on YouTube. It takes about 20 or so seconds to do the actual test, and we get a green light, which means we're good to go and live stream on this account with the current settings. We can click close. So these current settings here, we would actually have a 1080p live stream, as you can see up in the upper right, next Xbox Broadcaster. We are already set up here to go in 1920 by 1080p. But uh, again, if you have slower internet, you may want to change resolution to 720p or maybe even 480p. But the bandwidth test here will kind of show you uh, what you can do with your current connection. It will either give you a green light, a yellow light, or a red light, which is really poor. There's different codecs you can change for encoding the video. Again, your bit rate's very important here. And this cog wheel also has some other options you can tweak and adjust for yourselves. But once again, check out the video after this one. We'll click OK, and boom, we are set to go and live stream now through our YouTube channel we just connected through XSplit Broadcaster. Click on Broadcast, and there is the new account we set up. So here it is. That's our new output. So it's already there. We don't have to do it again. It's set to go for us. YouTube Live, Secret Magicians Club. If you ever want to change settings, go to the cog wheel and go back into all of your settings here again with the encoding and bitrate. So besides testing your bandwidth, you can also do a test live stream as well. And I'll show you how to do that. Click on Broadcast and click on your channel, your correct output. So a new window pops up here for broadcast details. The top is live event. Hover over that. It gives you some options here. You can stream now using your default YouTube live stream. New live event. You can create a new event and schedule it for later on. Scheduled. You can select an existing live event, which you already scheduled through YouTube itself. Or live now. Resume an existing live now event in case you had a disconnect or something like that. Click on new live event. We're going to call this test. And description doesn't really matter, we'll call it test. Um, don't worry about tags here, these are just keywords you would add into your live streams, but this is a test live stream, so it's not really necessary putting tags in here whatsoever. Your category, again, doesn't really matter here for a test live stream, but here's the most important part, privacy. Uh, for a test, make sure we put it at private. That way only we can view the live stream for the test. You can also make it unlisted. That way you could share the link with a friend or two and they can view it on their end at home or wherever they are and ensure there's no problems with your live stream. And keep it on private. All right, you can enter an end schedule if you wanted to. It's also latency here. Uh, latency refers to um, uh, the quality of a stream and also the interaction with chat. So normal latency, best for highest quality, viewer playbacks and higher resolutions. Low latency is best for near real-time interaction with minimal playback buffering. So low latency is pretty good for having more interaction with your chat room. Um, otherwise, maybe a bit more delayed in the normal latency setting and ultra low. This is really almost as close to real time as you can get with chat interaction. Um, this does not support um, 4K resolutions here. So we'll keep it on low just for the test. All right, so new live event, make sure we're on private, double check that and click start broadcast. Give it a few seconds to boot up and it says streaming live, YouTube live, Secret Magicians Club. There's test, viewers zero, there's our bit rate. We go to Google now into our YouTube channel Click on YouTube Studio, go to Videos, click on the Live tab. 
And you can see here, live now. Visibility is private. Date May 6th, that's today. We can click on here to view in live control room. And this is where you want to go to get a view of the stream. Now, normally through Xplit Broadcaster, once you initiate the stream, go live through Xplit Broadcaster, you still have to go into YouTube, your creator studio, into the live feed here like this, and then you would see your stream being connected. Then you will click go live through YouTube. So you're actually not going live directly through Xplit Broadcaster initially. It's just connecting to YouTube live first. And then you click go live from YouTube. But here is the live stream right now. Uh, we have a full screen for you as I'm talking to you here. It's kind of delayed a little bit, but that's because it's just live stream normal. And you can test your audio settings here by turning up the volume levels. If you like, you can see your resolution as well. 1080p live stream. Let it buffer a little bit here. I'm also recording this as I do the live stream, so maybe buffering a little bit more than usual just due to high CPU usage. And there we go. So not bad. So once we think everything is good, we can click end stream and click end stream finished. You can edit in studio if you want to, to edit the video in creator studio or dismiss. Back to export broadcaster here, go to broadcast and click on YouTube live, our channel. And that will end it through Xbox Broadcaster as well. So that's just a way to kind of test your live stream that you set up through YouTube and Xbox Broadcaster. Give it a try. Test out your audio settings. Test out your video settings. Again, if you have a little bit lower of a bit rate through the original test, uh, try adjusting your resolutions a little bit. You can do so up here in the upper right. Your base resolution. Anywhere from 1080p, 720p, 540p. However, YouTube does not allow 540p resolution streams. So we have to choose a 480p possibly for that. So there you go, step-by-step -step how to live stream via Xplit Broadcaster through YouTube Live. Now, once again, double check and watch our full video on how to live stream with bad internet. Even if you have good internet, it will give you some tips and suggestions for changing and adapting the bitrate and doing a few little tweaks as well to your encoding to give the best experience possible for the people watching your live streams. Have fun. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. Have a good day. We'll see you back here next time.